Officer, I've already told you everything I know. All right, all right. I'll tell you again from, from the beginning. Oh my God, someone's slow today. Well, the name does ring a bell. Hannah Grace, right? If I remember correctly, I think I've seen her in school a few times. But I don't really recall having any interaction with her. Though, I kind of don't like her though. I mean, like, have you seen her? She's such a weirdo. I mean, like, she doesn't even have any friends. The only friends she had were her books and maybe some plants. But hey, I'm not one to judge. But, like, everyone in school doesn't like her. And, like, I mean, like, who would? The quiet girl who reads her books 24-7, barely talks to any human being, and talks plants <laughs> I mean like even I would want to distance myself from her you know being seen with her could ruin a reputation you know <laughs> what did you say officer the kids at school said what they see me with Emily and Lucy Bullying Hannah. I don't know who told you that, but I've never bullied Hannah. Yeah, I'm there with them, but I'm just there for the sake of entertainment, you know? I mean, like, what's the harm of having a little fun and laugh? Right, officer? You should have seen her face. So the answer to your question is yes and no. Yeah, I'm there with them. But no, I don't bully Hannah. I'm just there for the show. But sadly, I missed the last one. But yeah. Anyways, I really don't know what happened to her. Like, I mean, like, it doesn't even matter anyways, right? It's not like she's important or anything. So now, officer, if you will excuse me, I would like to see my lawyer now. Hannah Grace. Yeah, what about her? Sure, we share a few classes together, but that was it. I don't know what you expect to get out from me, officer, because Hannah and I were like strangers who passed each other at the halls. What, they said I bullied her? Okay, okay let's get one thing straight. We were just teasing around. Everyone needs to stop being so sensitive all the time. Because it wasn't that serious to begin with. Plus, if anything, we were just following Emily, okay? She's the one that's like, let's put trash in Hannah's locker. Let's steal all of her books. I'm like, what are we, nine? She seems to have this weird obsession over Hannah. I remember this one time, Emily spread a rumor that Hannah's dad is a creep, and it ran in the family. <laughs> and um, oh, no way, that was me. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, it's not me you should be speaking to. It's Emily. She's the one that's always starting something with Hannah. Emily, she bullied Hannah any chance she got. <laughs> The name calling was funny at first. The rumors? Wow, they were entertaining. Heck, even I started to join in. For the love of God, we were just teasing her. It's nothing to be worried about. As I said, we were just joking around. It was high school. You either eat or be eaten. It's not my fault, some people couldn't take a joke. But I did see Hannah talking to Emily's boyfriend once. Emily's always going out about how Hannah always gets what she wants. I don't know, it's so annoying sometimes. It's either that or Emily's boyfriend is just so sick and tired of her crazy antics all the time like the rest of us were, okay?
I don't know, nor do I care, officer. The sooner my dad comes with his lawyers, the sooner I get out from this mess. So, I'm sorry you wasted your time. Emily is the one you should be speaking to. Whenever that name pops up, it always reminds me of that song and other fragile memories that I can never, ever, ever forget. Hello, Grace. We used to be best friends. Three of us. We share the same ambition, passion, but I guess we don't share the same air now. <laughs> hmm. And me? I was never good Question of the day is, no, question of my life is, why am I never good enough to the person who I should have meant the world to her? Everything I do to make her feel proud gets compared to none other <laughs> Is my life not full enough? Is my life not full of <laughs> All I know is It was it was it was supposed to be big I didn't choose to be the worst I didn't choose to be incapable of being the best. I didn't choose to make that decision. <laughs> Whatever happened to her, she probably deserved it. At least I don't get compared to anyone anymore. And my mother? <laughs> yes, I admit that this is all because of us. Because of me, as well, everything that happened towards Hana was indeed our fault. We, we were hurting her, and I did nothing. I did absolutely nothing when Hana was begging for help. Officer, let me tell you this. I, I admit it. I know everything that happened. I know about the plan that Emily and the others made from the very beginning. I know about what they will do to Hannah. But I choose to join them. I choose to join them to ensure that this plan will work. Sorry, officer. I, I truly am. I was really stuck at, at the moment. The whole situation got me confused. Emily was so nice to me. She's a very good friend of mine. A and I can't just say no to her. I had absolutely no choice back then. She was super upset with everything. And and as a friend, I couldn't bear to see her like that. And that is why I agree. And I joined them. I joined them to do a lot of things towards Hannah. But Hannah on the other side too. I mean, she's 
also my close friend. She never did anything bad to me as well. Throughout the whole incident happening to her, I, I wanted to help her to escape from all of that, but, but I just can't, officer. I can't. <laughs> She's here, o officer. She she is here. I swear. Please, Anna. If you're here, please. I'm begging you. Stop. Stop doing this to us, Anna. We're sorry. We truly are, Anna. Okay, Anna. I will tell them. I will tell them everything that we have done to you. Officer, it's her. It's Hannah Reese. Hey, remember me? It's Hannah. Hannah Grace. This is my truth, or more specifically, how my life ended. It was on May 22nd, and I had just turned 16. It's no big deal anyway, since just like the loner I am, I decided to celebrate it in my dormitory, reading my new novel. Then... Just like I expected, the mean girls came up to me. But this time, it was different. They were nice. They wished me and even sang a happy birthday song for me. For a second, I thought we were all going to be friends and this nightmare would finally be over. But suddenly, Emily pushed me to the floor and all of them started laughing. The next thing I knew, my head was bleeding. <laughs> Emily didn't stop there. She pulled my hair and brought me to the janitor's room and locked me there. I don't understand. What could have I possibly done to any of you to deserve this? I banged the door so hard that my hands numb and I screamed my lungs out until I couldn't breathe <gasps> minutes felt like hours and hours felt like days I was starving dehydrated but most of all I started hearing things, and that made me completely insane. I told myself, I can't do it. I just can't do it anymore. I just wanted to end everything. So I found a rope and decided to hang myself. Just like that. <laughs> but I did promise one thing. Revenge! You've got